I wish I could make reaction videos, but I was born in 1956. I've heard all these songs. What could I possibly react to? Hey whippersnappers, Brian here at a Boomer Reacts. Welcome back. If this is your first time here, thanks for checking me out. I listen to rap and hip hop songs using lyric videos, and then I let you know what I thought about them. Um, as you can see, I'm going to be reacting to the song Blue Flowers. Uh, and I'm going to say, by Cool Keith as Dr. Octagon. But you guys let me know, you know, how you say the artist's name of this song. Like if you're telling a, a friend, you know, they got to check this song out. Do you say, by Cool Keith? By Dr. Octagon? By Cool Keith as Dr. Octagon, like I'm doing? Let me know. Um, let's see. So I've ranked it to a couple of Ultra Magnetic MC songs. I did uh, Papa Large, East Coast Mix, and uh, Ego Trippin'. So if you want to know about Keith in, in that group, you can go check out uh, those reactions to hear a little bio about um, Ultra Magnetic MCs. But this song is Cool Keith Solo. Uh, so I'm just going to talk about him, you know, away from the group. Um, so uh, Ultra released uh, Critical Breakdown in 88, then Funk Your Head Up in 92, and The Four Horsemen in 93. Uh, and that's when Keith um, started going solo. Keith and producer Cut Masta Kurt who were working on a variety of demos together, recorded two songs, one called Dr. Octagon and the other Technical Difficulties. Keith mailed the songs to radio stations, as well as giving copies to several DJs and the record producer Dan the Automator. This led to Dan's role in producing Keith's solo debut album, which was recorded in Dan's studio in the basement of his parents' San Francisco home. In 95, Keith released his, his first single, Earth People, from his 96 debut solo album called Dr. Octagon, using the alias Dr. Octagon. It was released through Bulk Records, but was re-released in 97 by DreamWorks Records with a different track listing, five new songs, as well as the album title being changed to Dr. Octogonicologist. Uh, DreamWorks also issued an instrumental version of the album titled Instrumentalist, Octagon Beats. The songs 3000 and Blue Flowers followed as singles in 96. Dr. Octagon Ecologist uh, introduces the character of Dr. Octagon, an extraterrestrial surgeon from Jupiter, who uses space technology and primitive tools to perform medical procedures on his patients, some of whom die as he conducts his rounds, while others are murdered by his careless, barbaric acts. That sounds sweet. Uh, Octagon also practices as an orthopedic gynecologist and seduces and engages in sexual intercourse with his female patients and nurses. I don't think I'm have any problem uh, deciphering uh, what this song means. Uh, the earliest instance of the Dr. Octagon character, however, appears on the unreleased Ultra Magnetic MC's demo, Smoking Dust, recorded in 93 and included in the 94 compilation album, The Basement Tapes, 1984-1990. On this demo, Keith refers to himself as Dr. Ock and raps in a deeper cadence with lyrics that intertwine grotesque pornographic imagery with science fiction. Those are my two favorite genres of movies. Uh, the album's distinctive sound fuses genres such as psychedelic music, trip-hop, and electronic music. Dan's production was highly praised, as well as the 
as well as the innovative scratching by DJ Kubert. Dan wanted Dr. Octagon Ecologist to stand out from other hip hop albums saying, quote, hip hop was always inventive. Then the 90s hit and everyone wants to be Dr. Dre. No one wants to be their own thing anymore. Everyone now wants to have the Lexus and deal pounds of drugs. We don't do that. That's not our lifestyle. There's more to music than that, unquote. You go, Dan. Blue Flowers was written by Dan the Automator and Cool Keith and was produced by Dan the Automator. Okay. Wow. This is going to be interesting. There was no lyric video, so I'm going to scroll. <clears throat> I don't even know, you know, what I'm going to make of this song. It sounds like it's going to be out there. So bear with me. The octagon, paramedic fetus of the east with priests I'm from the church of the operating room With the strikes of force, scalpel since the holocaust I do indeed in greed, explore, meet the patients Back to rooms with the nurse with the voodoo curse Holding up office lights, standing at huge heights Back and forth, left wing, swing to north East and south with blood pouring down your mouth I can prepare with the white suit and stethoscope Listen to your heartbeat, delete, beep, beep, beep your insurance is high, but my price is cheap. Look at the land. Blue flowers. Run by the purple pond. See the purple lights. Blue flowers. Run by the purple pond. Yellow indigo. Blue flowers. Run by the pond. Look, it's raining yellow. Would you care to listen to any more? Thank you. Holding bags on down right from the hospital. It's the patient that's worth to keep the germs off the turf. Cybernetic microscopes and metal antidotes. Two telescopes that magnify the size of a roach. The computer to cup a coffee planet with my hand and astral planet detached. Turn on rare foggers. Cut the light on the kid and turn it bright on. Supersonic waves combine and burn his brain waves. I see the mascot of evil. He's not Knievel. Shakespeare's gone. Don't even think about him. Yes. As I go into the park, I see blue flowers, it's raining green, by the pond, blue flowers, it's totally raining green, boy, blue flowers, I smell the bees and the birds, blue flowers, different aspects of life, blue flowers. You know what? I do like it. Um, a lot of you probably didn't think I would. Um, what I like about it is that it's odd, is that it's weird, is that it's unique. Um, like I said, uh, the the lyrics are dealing with <laughs> some other kind of reality. Um, so I can appreciate them like as ear candy, although I have no idea what he's talking about. Uh, my favorite part was the chorus. Uh, just because it was so 
eerie and odd. Um, I like stuff like that. I don't know if any of you have ever heard of a new wave band called Shriekback, uh, but I like them a lot, and they had odd, creepy songs. Accretions is, was one of my favorites. Uh, Fish Below the Ice was a good one. Um, all Lined Up. My Spine is the Bass Line. I loved all those songs, and they're weird like this. Um, uh, 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 cool Keith had... had um, a, a great flow in this. Um, he was, he was, you know, conversational while saying stuff that was, you know, otherworldly. Um, except for the chorus, that's when he, you know, he was rap singing off key, uh, stuff like that, uh, which uh, Shriek, Shriekback also does, uh, and that's one of the reasons I enjoy them. Um, uh, I, I, I'm not really sure, um, how this album by, you know, Dr. Octagon, um, is different than, you know, like a, another cool Keith solo. I know he has another alias, um, oh, anyway. He's got he's got another alias I, I forget, um, but uh, is is are the lyrics and the music and the flow are they different? Um, Doctor Oct Octagon versus whoever this name is I can't think of. Um, let me know, and if you want me to do the album by that other guy. <laughs> Uh, let me know, uh, uh, and you know, give me a good a good uh, song title from that album. I should probably just look, right? I'm starting to ramble. Um, anyway, it's a fun song. It's going in my car. Don't understand <clears throat> what the song means, but I enjoy listening to it. And that's true in my real life. There's lots of songs that I really enjoy, and I have no idea what they're about, but it, it doesn't matter. Um, well, thanks for hanging with me, guys. If you like this kind of content, give me a like and a subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.